Hey developers, so today I'm gonna to show you a quick video on how you can add to your GitHub profile and actually have something show up there using the new GitHub README feature. So stay all the way to the end and you can learn all about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this new feature. The way it works is if you look at your profile, so obviously if you don't have a profile, make sure you have a GitHub profile. This is what it normally looks like, like if your normal profile, you have your popular repositories, you have repositories, projects, your contributions, and it kind of looks like this. So this is my public GitHub profile. But what happens if I wanted to add in this custom readme? So to do that, you can just go ahead and click the little plus button, go to new repository, or you can go to github.com slash new. And the repository name should actually be your name. So I'm gonna put it Eric CH, and it says, you found a secret, ooh. See, Eric CH is a special repository that you can use to add readme.md to your GitHub profile. Make sure it's public, initialize it with a readme to get started. So this is our public one. So I'm gonna initialize this repository with a readme and I click greet, create repository. So it's that easy. So now I have this special readme and right now all it says is hi there. But if I click this edit button, I can see like what, it, it kind of gives you like here, maybe you should use it like this. So I'm gonna just get rid of this here and I can be like, um, here is what I'm working on. And then I'm currently working on, uh, let's say uh, I'm currently working on YouTube. I'm currently learning Vue.js. I like to, I'm looking to collaborate on, on Vue.js. I'm looking for help on, I don't know, let's say AWS, asking about anything, how to reach me, uh, eric.video. Let's do this. Uh, it's marked down so I can put in my website. Well, YouTube channel. If I remember my markdown correctly. And I can do HTTPS, well, eric.video. It's my domain. Pronouns, he, him, fun fact. I am half Finnish. So you guys have learned something new about me. So let's see if this works. I'm going to commit the changes directly to master. Cool, so let's take a look at our profile. So if I go back up here and go to your profile, hey, there's the new readme. So I have YouTube, here's my YouTube channel, which if I click on it, it goes to my YouTube channel. Pretty cool. And yeah, it has all the information about me so people can do it. So that's really quickly the way to do it. So make sure first you have a GitHub profile uh, get, make sure you have GitHub itself. If you don't, sign up at github.com and then go ahead and add the special readme to your profile uh, using your name. So you have to create a repository with your name and then you can add a readme to it and then it'll show up when everybody looks at your profile. Now, I don't have that many people. By the way, if you want to help me out, go ahead and add me as a follower on GitHub. So just go to github.com slash ericch. Go ahead and follow me because I'm always posting repositories. I literally have 106 different repositories here. I don't even know how I have so many. But every time I do a video, I add to the repository. So keep that in mind. So I thought for the rest of this video, let's take a look at some other resources and how other people have been using this cool new feature. So you know, we've only been talking for a few minutes. So here is Jason Langstorff. He's a developer, software architect. So he has this big Jason Lang Langsford has a lot of ideas. He talks a little about himself that he has, um, I built lots of demos in the account and with learn with Jason organization. So that's a link to his organization. Most of them we built with learn with Jason, which if we take a look at, this is his uh, website and his podcast. He does, uh, actually I've listened to a few of these. They're really great interviews with very interesting people. I think he even live streams it on Twitch. So very cool. And then I work at Net Netlify. By the way, if you're listening right now, leave a comment below. Is it Netlify or can you pronounce it Nellify? Because I've had many people say I mispronounce it, but I always just say really quickly Net Nellify, and you don't really hear the T, but it says Netlify. He's a provincial developer, experience engineer. For more information, a lot of shenanigans. So yeah, so very clean, cool GitHub profile here. Here's another one, Simon. Wilson, this is how he did his README. He has this uh, recent releases on my blog, TIL. So basically uh, his associated projects. 
here is Nate Moore. So the way he did it is you can click and refresh to change the block color. Uh, so if you refresh it, the block color changes. I guess this is just a way to show that that uh, you can kind of kind of do some cool things with your profile, even though it's marked out. I mean, you could take a look. I think we can just look at his profile and see how he did it with this README. So here's the README. And if we look at the raw code, so he has a bunch of images from status.mmu. And then, and then he has like this, um, a image that he used to show if he's playing with Spotify. So I have no idea what this status, if this is his personal site or what this status .dev is. Let's see if we look, bring it up dot dev. I don't know. Maybe it's just a, a place to to, maybe it's his own site that he's just randomly, every time you load it, it just brings up some random image, like a placeholder site. I don't know, let's try it. So if I try to bring this up, nothing's happening. I don't know, we're gonna have to find out. I'm not sure exactly what that's about, but he somehow was able to make these blocks just randomly appear. Uh, Swizix, oh, by the way, if you guys are interested, he actually has a brand new book call the coding career handbook you didn't think you're going to go all the way through this video without at least one shout out one little sponsorship or something but uh by the way that learn how to build an exceptional exceptional career i'm actually reading it right now it's an excellent book it's like over you know hundreds of pages long he has a launch sale that ends in five hours um, but so by the time you watch this i still think that there's still a pretty good sale going on just check it out i have a link in the description below and there's actually a code that you can use to get a little bit additional off. So I'll put a link in the description below. Click on it. If you end up buying the book, uh, I get a few bucks. So I really appreciate it. Yeah, so check this out. Anyways, here is his his readme. Hello world, I'm Swizix. I'm a, he's a senior developer advocate at AWS Amplify. He has you know all the emoji icons that I had before. How to reach me, he has a Twitter. He has a pretty big Twitter following. And he has this kind of thing. I would like to add you to my professional network on the GitHub so you can endorse new skills apparently so you can do like an endorsement here i haven't tried this but he basically you can um you can endorse them so that's kind of neat he was able to add that in there i guess you could take a look at the readme real quickly to see how he did it so here's his readme and we can go here to the readme md file look at the raw and yeah he has this all these images down here and then he has this GitHub assignment labels, template endorsement, template MD. So I guess he just basically creates a new markdown file and then he somehow uses it to show it. I'm not sure exactly how he did it, but it's kind of a neat concept so you can uh, endorse him. So very cool. Uh, here's another one. This is, he used uh, his profile. He used this SVG, which kind of cool little animation there. So we can take a look at how he did it too if you want to argyle link readme.md and look at the raw file it's just one yeah it's just a single gif that's running over and over again so that's how he did that um but i wanted to give a shout out to this dev.2 article um i was trying to do some research on this and this came up so i'll make sure i put a link down below she actually lists a bunch of different profiles and, and other kind of cool ways like Here's how Donovan did his, uh, Don Avon. Let's see here. Let's see here. GitHub Don Avon. Okay. Yeah. So he just has, oh, so yeah, it's just like some pictures that change kind of makes it a little bit nicer. Anyways, I just want to give a shout out cause this was a, a cool list of a bunch of people's readme's. So I'll make sure I'll, I'll include that in the link in the description below. All right, so that's all I have today. I just This is a quick one. I just wanna show you how to add your own README to your, uh, how to add to your profile. You can add an old, your own README, so I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what your GitHub profiles are. So in the description below, if you made it all the way to the end, we're just about 10 minutes in, leave a link below to your GitHub. Maybe I'll uh, add you as a friend. Yeah, maybe we can get this going. Thanks.